Good morning. Today we will be flying on Delta's longest domestic flight from JFK Airport to Honolulu. And today I will be showing you what it's like to be flying the Delta longest domestic flight. But first, let's head to the lounge where we have priority pass access and take advantage of this offer. After hanging around, now it's time to leave and head to our gate. Today's gate will be B36. This is the lounge. Gate B36. Six more gates to go. Here we are at gate B36. Today we will be flying Boeing 767-400. After arriving to the gate, boarding just started and we are soon heading to our aircraft. Here's our Boeing 767-400. Good morning. The premium select has a configuration of 222 two, two, while economy class has a configuration of 232. Two. Today we will have 51 G. Here is the seat, and you will give them the blanket. A TV given with a headboard. See you. After boarding is complete, now we are heading to the runway. Here we are lining up upon the runway and soon we will be taking off to Hawaii.
after takeoff, we have now reached to our cruising attitude, and after takeoff, they also gave us a water bottle, a complimentary water bottle, and a fork set in it. I like the design of the napkin. So yeah, soon we should be getting our meal service. So our dinner service arrived and there was basically two choices. You either had a chicken or a ravioli. So I decided to go with the chicken. So here you have the chicken with the green beans and rice. Here you have a salad. And then here you have, uh, I believe this is a brownie or something. So overall it's average. So after uh, lunch, Delta standards. So when we had the check-in, um, the check-in process was very quick, and you could also uh, do the online check-in from 24 hours in advance. So I did that and got the boarding passes. Our uh, baggage drop-off was very quick. The customer service was uh, perfect. Fine. Then we had the lounge accent. After the lounge, it was time soon to board. So boarding process was also quick. And talking about the onboard service, the onboard service is also quick. So. We were on like maybe and not an entire uh, hour in the flight that we were ready to serve a lunch um, at drink and and that's it. So yeah, I soon gonna do a Louvre review. So we're gonna see how it looks. Hello guys. So we're gonna do the Lou review on the Boeing 767-400. So as you can see, here you have the mirror. Here you have a hole. Then you have some tissues, some paper towels, a basic toilet um, where you can do to access your baby, and another mirror on the side, which I don't know why, but it's cool that you have actually two mirrors. So overall, I'll give a plus for this. We are around now with Chicago, and we have around, I believe, nine more hours to go so how is the food it wasn't really that the best the rice i don't know it's not the best um chicken it's more like halal food or tastes like and then like the dessert it gives you a lemon taste so it's bitter but then at the end it's ending with a white chocolate taste so yeah uh the food will be like a maybe seven out of ten but it was a fun all right while the apple juice was the best so i will see you later on Even though you're flying domestically, you still have to fill out this form saying that you're not carrying any plans to prevent any disease into the state of Hawaii. We are more than six and a half hours into this flight. We got like three hours and 40 minutes and we got 1,917 miles. So the, nothing, there's no too much events on this flight. Um, they give you the meal and then they just come around serve you drinks after like the fifth hour into this flight so um, hopefully I'll be looking for the landing snack hopefully they provide it one thing I wanted to show you is what I like about Delta and their flight tractor is this so one feature that I like about it is that they have a flight tractor and in the flight tracker unlike anything ours it is 
a unique and a solid one. So they got many different modes. My favorite mode is like the com uh, the command center. I mean, you have like so many over here. You have details of how your plane is, like where it is, how much miles we got, and stuff like that. Then you have different modes, like where we are, where are we around. Yeah, so this is probably my favorite feature on the Delta, you know, flights. Here is some info of, about our plane that we are currently flying on. So it is Boeing 767-400ER. Um, the current cruise speed is 570 miles per hour. There we have then 246 seats. And the range for this aircraft will be to a 6,336. So yeah, Delta has so many things. You can also learn about quite a lot about this. So let's see, we're cruising up the top of the Pacific Ocean. So as you can see, there's nothing but waves and endless blueness. And what's also interesting about it is that like when we were starting to be on top of the ocean the flight attendants came around saying that to close the window shades for like you know sleeping purposes so if you look in the cabin it's pretty little bit dark over here so i think that's a little bit of a good thing but i decided to keep mine open since i'm probably can't sleep on flights Hello, so now we have one hour left before the flight. We are 445 miles away from Honolulu, but they finally served the pre-landing snack. So here's the pre-landing. So to me it looks like we have some pizza crust. After the pizza you were provided some chocolate. Here is my Delta's first trading card collection. Now we have the last 30 minutes of this flight and we're not an entire 200 miles away from Honolulu and now soon we're gonna start our descent.
now it is time to leave the aircraft but before we leave I've been invited by the flight attendant to visit the cockpit. For some reason I do not know why the audio was lost, sorry for the interruptions. And as for Delta's 1 class configuration it is a 1 to 1 ratio. Here is the view of the cockpit. After talking to the captains, now it's time to officially leave the aircraft. So here we are in the airport and trying to pick up for baggage claim. Here we're going for the car rental. We're having car rental to budget. Here is the car rental company's area across the street. One thing we did not expect is they completely gave us a different car and it's actually smaller than the one that we needed. So to put our baggages in this car was a little bit quite interesting. Tutai mame la familia yeji. Please wait here until the gates clear up. La familia. Jak się siedzi tam? Bardzo dobrze się siedzi. Hello. After a 30 minute car ride, we finally arrived to our hotel room. The hotel we were staying at at the Oahu Island is Hyatt. So here is two beds and the third bed is to the couch that transforms to a bed and over here we got a nice balcony view of the ocean. After settling in our hotel room, we went out for a little walk to explore Honolulu. And on the last episode of Oahu, I will show you the restaurants that we were hanging around during the time. Here is this tree that fascinated me a lot. Along with this nice waterfall that was just down. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you subscribe. Now, if you ask me, isn't Boston to Honolulu the longest flight? Yes, it is. But that will be considered for Hawaiian Airlines since Delta does not have it. But Delta will be adding this to the fall season of 2024. But this was recorded in February 2024, making that JFK to Honolulu the longest domestic flight. Now, I will hopefully will see you in the next video.